always the wind. Right now I'm in the Northumberland National Park. Weather is absolutely amazing. We've got a couple hours left of sunlight. The hiking was, it was okay. Up quite a steep hill, but the location I'm at, it's pretty good. This is the view I've got. And this is where I'll be camping tonight. So it's a rocky crag on top of one of the hills and it's a bowl shape, so we're covered from the majority of the wind, so I think that's pretty flat right there. And it's, yeah, I mean, this place has probably been used for, I want to say hundreds, if not thousands of years, just to camp at. If I can find some firewood in the area, I'm gonna get a fire going because you can see it right there. In that ditch where the sun has gone below the crag, just pure shadows and compared to the surrounding area this place is going to get dark quicker than the rest yeah, it's 14 degrees it's given today which has been it's been really warm for march but it's getting down to about minus two so it's going to get pretty cool so if i can stay warm that bit longer i'm going to do it just means i think there's a little forest back there i can get some wood from it's a really good place. I mean, the wind's still whipping, but nowhere near as bad as being up there. And I want these views, so it comes with a price, doesn't it? I'm gonna set the tent right there. That's the flattest part. It looks good. There we are. So I've put it side on. Because the wind is coming at me this way, so it should help with that. And I actually think I've set this up the best so far. Uh, it's actually pulled out so much better. So what I learned with this, so the hiking pole, you actually pull it, so this is tensioned, so this pulls the floor out even more like that. And you can see around the sides, the mosquito net, that'll help with condensation. It's all nice and done. Happy with it, you know, really happy. Let me show you what we got then. So here's the food. If you're from the Northeast, you've probably heard of this. Peas pudding by Foresight. I've always wanted to try it. And I was researching, you know, Northeast famous dishes and it's peas pudding, cooked ham on a bap. I call it like a bap or a sandwich or something, but they call it a stotty in the northeast. So I've got two of them, some ham and peas pudding. So like this, I think it's pretty much just cooked. There it is. So there's the ingredients, just split peas, water, bit of turmeric for flavoring and color, paprika. So that's all it is. So cooked down peas and yeah, you can heat it up and it's quite nice apparently. So I'm going to try it. It's a proper northeast dish apparently and my favorite a little bit this is what is it liam <laughs> time bank brewery it's a a session ale quintessentially english can't wait to try that what did i get great taste 2015 nice it's the usuals Just, uh, decent views okay actually this one's uh, about 45 minutes left of light. I think I'm going to get firewood right now. I'm going to set it up like here, get some rocks around it, and then we'll cook. So let's get the firewood. Not much wood at all, really. It's all evergreens. Uh, collect some of that.
that's also got a fence panel that's fell off. Some of that. It's all evergreen and just grass. We'll try and make it work. I found a couple more just laying around up there. Let's try it without heating up. That's what it looks like. It smells like mushy peas. This is a northeast delicacy, apparently. Oh, that is nice. It's mush. It's basically like mushy peas, but without that really you know, like powerful pea taste. Let's heat it up. Jordy's know what they're on about. I mean, it's just like a a really nice ham sandwich. Mm. Oh, he always does this. These bears keep getting better and better. Bear, I'm watching the sunset. Not too bad. I mean, some amazing views, look at these. And I'm glad we're protected from the majority of the wind as well. It is, I mean, there's a few hills, but the majority of this is quite flat. So it's just gusts. So yeah, I think, I'm not sure if I told you before, but I'll tell you again if not. So apparently Northumberland National Park, per square mile, is the least inhabited in the UK, or in England that is. It could be like Northumberland in general, not the actual National Park, but I mean, I haven't seen anyone. Should be okay. Decent place. You 
it doesn't even look this big, but that is so far away, you don't even understand. Oh, I mean, you can see a couple of sheep down there. The size, the scale of it, that's miles away. Wow. And you got this little gem. Protected from the wind mostly. So his views, like that, this is why I do this stuff. The national park's idea, just a wild camp and hike in every national park, just a bit of a off the cuff idea, but I'm so glad I'm doing it because not one national park is the same. But they're all cold at night, that is one thing. Whew. the clouds as well. <sighs> just makes you grateful. This is the UK. We think it's just grey, miserable. I think it is in cities mainly, but when you get out like this, it does make it worth it. I can't believe that. So you see that? Where am I pointing? There. You'd think that was just down a hill, but that is... I don't know. There's got to be like a couple, a mile and a half away. Just the size of it, the scale. I can't believe it. That is so far away. <sighs> All right, let's make this fire because chilly hands. I really think there's something primitive about just making a fire and bedding down for the night in the wild. Not the wild, but the outdoors. I can see the stars slightly, which is a good sign. It just means you're away from cities and big towns. A campfire, stars, a beer, good food. All I need now is warm nights and then I'm sorted. Still gets down. I mean, can you see that? Oh, we can't see that. I'd say it's about one degree right now. It's just doing a great job, that reflector. It's just, I can feel it like right here. <sighs> what a night. I'm just gonna relax now. I think it's about 8 p.m. So a movie and then bed.
and uh, I think sunrise I'll get out for about 6.15 but there's no rush it doesn't matter I mean you're not governed by time you know when you do this stuff it's just daylight hours daylight hours so yeah I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you all later maybe or if not I'll see you in the morning Nice, nice and warm. It's got down pretty cool now. And I mean, I had a really good sleep. I think that was the best sleep so far. Definitely. I, I, I can't remember waking up. But I think, I mean, the clouds must have rolled through because there was so much condensation on that tent. <clears throat> and it's not even rain, it's saturated with just Condensation. Look at the hills over there though. Just rolling in. All that cloud. I think this is the seventh national park I've done so far out of the 15 I'll be doing in the UK. And I think this is the first national park I haven't seen anyone. Maybe that fact is right, per square mile is the least inhabited. Whoa. That is where I stayed last night then. That's the fire pit. Covered it with some rocks. Doesn't look out of place, there's one there. They're dotted all over the place. That's a really good campsite. Sheltered mainly from the wind. Really good. So that is Northumberland National Park, done.